If we want to be happy in life, we need to live a life of wisdom. A wise man always lives a fulfilling and meaningful life. But wisdom must be distinguished from knowledge. Wisdom is not something that you can acquire through research, study, or even from experience. So a man can be intellectually brilliant and yet lack wisdom. So what is wisdom? Wisdom is to share in the mind of God. Wisdom is the ability to understand the ultimate realities of life. A wise man understands the true meaning of life. He knows his identity. He knows his origin. He knows his destiny and his purpose in life. That is why a man can be very successful in life and yet not living a wise life because he does not know his identity. Science and technology can tell you the how of life, but science and technology cannot explain the why of life. That is why without God, this world is blind and ignorant. What is the ultimate destiny of life? We are called to share in the resurrected life, that those who died will one day share in the resurrection of Christ. This is the ultimate destiny of every human person. In order to share the fullness of life, it is not a journey that we take alone. It is a journey that we take together with the church. And so what is necessary for us to undertake this journey to the fullness of life? And what should we take for this journey? We need to light our lamp and we need to bring extra oil. The light of the lamb symbolizes a life of faith, hope, and charity. Without faith in Christ, there is no hope. That is why today many people, when they remove God from the world, this world becomes hopeless. And that is why it is important for us. It is our faith in Christ that gives us a certain hope of a future life with Him. And it is this hope of a future life that brings about a real purpose in what we are doing in life. It is this life of charity that is a foretaste of the life that is to come because it is a life of communion, of love and fellowship. But for this life to be sustained, we need to bring the oil of cooperation. This is the oil that is necessary for us in order to share in the life of Christ. Anyone who has this oil and this lamb lives a life of wisdom, a life of meaning and filled with purpose and a clear goal in life. The oil cannot be shared. Spiritual maturity, growing in virtues, growing in grace, this is something that cannot be done in proxy. It is true the church speaks of plenary indulgence, but plenary indulgence is given with conditions attached. And what are these conditions? You need to go for the sacrament reconciliation, you need to receive Holy Communion, you need to pray, I sometimes do penance. These conditions actually are meant to help a person to develop a relationship with God. So this oil of cooperation is the oil of relationship. Faith, like person relationship, is very personal. We cannot replace a person relationship with things. 
doing things for people, getting things for people, they do not replace personal relationship. It's spending time cultivating a personal relationship, then the relationship can grow. Of course, this demands sacrifice. And so it is true in the relationship with God. If we do not make time for Him in prayer, if we don't make time to pray the scriptures, then we will never know Him. We can never enter into the relationship with Him. The journey is long. We do not know when the bridegroom would come. But it doesn't matter. The Lord comes the moment when our life on this earth is ended. And so we must be prepared. It might be a long journey, but it is more important not just to welcome the bridegroom at the end of our life. Every moment of our life, we must make sure the bridegroom is with us. That is why every Sunday or even every day we celebrate the Eucharist because it is in union with Jesus celebrating the heavenly banquet the wedding banquet as a foretaste, as a sign of our hope that we will eventually celebrate the heavenly banquet with our Lord. And this is what is our ultimate goal. And that is why we are called to lift this wedding feast, even in our lives today, by sharing our faith, our love with one another. This is truly a meaningful life. Life of wisdom.